And we are live with sound. Sorry, there's already been technical difficulties, so give me one second. I gotta fix something. <laughs> Can't ever just go smoothly, not once. Gotta disconnect this uh, drive really quickly. That was not the go. Where is it? Okay. So I'm sure it's mad at me for disconnecting it improperly, but that's fine. So I apparently have messed up my uh, videos. <laughs> So it can't, can't ever go smoothly, like I said. Where am I at? Am I here? Okay, the microphone should be good this time. Turns out uh, it didn't break. There was a switch on the side of it that must have got bumped on the last stream. and So now I've got a working microphone, and that's all figured out. Let me close all these warnings really quickly. Street Fighter Third Strike, huh? We'll see. Uh, why am I not seeing my chat? There we go. Wow. Oh, excuse me. Um, Rikaku was here early. I noticed that. Stalker Games, Grayton. Oh, Grayton. I do have those files installed finally. Uh, maybe we can play with those a little bit later. I, I can't. It freezes up when I try to play as the boss, but we'll get to that later. Um, Zach is here. Zach McDonald. John Doe's here. Lon Chaney. Lon Chaney. Sorry if I messed that one up. Riley's here. All the usuals, thankfully. Okay. Um, what I thought I'd do today is talk about, of course, play some games, but I thought I'd also talk about, uh, the CES predictions. And I actually have stuff ready to go to show you guys on that. Let's just do one of those right away. The first one, I'll put it up on the screen. I just realized I can't see what it actually says because of the delay, but, uh, it'll be up here on my screen in just a second. It, it, this is complicated it's streaming from, uh, it's like a mobile streaming thing that I got to keep moving around, so... I think I'm missing it. There we go. Now it's up on my screen. John D. dropped some hints on the Facebook groups. Um, of course, this one's probably a joke. More Pac-Man. You requested it. Pac-Man forever. Okay. If there's really more Pac-Man coming, it's going to be insane. People are going to be just mad, I think. But we'll just move on from that one since that one's kind of a joke. Let's go to the second one really quickly. Uh, excuse me. Number two. Let's see. Storm, a violent one. So... I immediately thought X-Men. Now, I don't know what that... I have no... Of course, I don't know nothing official that's coming, but I immediately thought X-Men when I saw that. Um, X-Men... A six-player X-Men would be really weird for them to pull off, but I kind of had the idea that now that they have the pinball uh, monitors that are 24 inches, they could make a slightly different-shaped cabinet with a widescreen monitor and have maybe... Maybe have room for six players? I don't know. I think pushing it... Right now, it's pushing it having four players on there, personally. But, you know, they might be able to do it. So, we'll see. I don't know if you guys have any theories. I saw a couple good ones on the on the Facebook group. But uh, I'll leave that one up for a little bit. And you guys can let me know what you think about that, if you even have anything. All right, I saw Stevie's here. There he is. Great, and I will... It's, on, it's not on this cabinet. I know that doesn't make any sense, but I dumped it all on the Killer Instinct cabinet, so when we get over there, I'll play a little bit of it to show you. I do like messing around with the Killer Instinct cheats. Those are really fun. Um, the fact that you can just make it do an ultra at any point is cool, and you can kind of practice, and you can't practice ultras, but at least from what I've found, you can at least uh, have unlimited life on the other player, so they can you can practice combos at least, which is really cool. God, I don't know if I've checked my settings on here. It seems like he was awful aggressive already. John wants me to play Street Fighter. It's not on this cabinet, John, but maybe I'll do a little of that today, too. Uh, what else do we got? Mortal Kombat movie, was it good? The first one, I thought it was okay. Second one, I, I hardly remember. I have to watch it all over again. Uh, let's see. Stevie, is MK2 better on main than the original board? I don't think anything will ever be better than the original board in almost any case, but... The fact that this is MK2 Plus, I think it's kind of better, personally. Um, MK2 Plus improves on a lot of MK2's, not shortcomings, but what, what is wrong with me today? I can't seem to play this. Uh, not shortcomings, but, you know, little things, like you have more fatality time, which you don't realize how insanely short the fatality time is on here until you actually struggle to pull off the fatality again. Man, this is... I don't know if I have it set towards the new uh, difficulty, but excuse me, anyway. Rock and roll is here. 
Stalker, you heard... I heard six, and they're going to have plastic devices. <laughs> yeah, wow. I'm gonna have to pay uh, six fifty for that cabinet then. Ooh, I wonder if I can maybe fight Jade. Let's see. I'll just, even if I lose, I'll just keep trying to uppercut. I don't know. Six could happen, I think. Now, if, imagine the cabinet widened a little bit to fit a 24-inch monitor, maybe even a little bit bigger. That would be kind of cool. Um, I don't know. It's really hard to say what they're going to do now. John could be just trolling us like he does with a couple things. Uh, he, he likes to make jokes every now and then. I have an interesting prediction coming up that I didn't really think about, but I saw that uh, P-Dubs actually mentioned it in the comments. Come on, man. Give me a toasty. Nope, no toasty. Maybe I'll just have to fight as Jade. Okay, now I gotta not die, but no, it's fine. Jade is extremely annoying. I kind of wish I was Jade fighting Jade. I think that would break the arcade game, though. I should have picked Jade, but we'll get to that eventually. Come on, no toasties today. I don't know what decides a toasty, or if it's completely random, but uh, we're getting close. I'm gonna even let him beat me if I have to. Okay, I do. At least he'll do a fatality. That's one other thing I love about this version. You can force the game to do a fatality on you all the time, so at least you can see something. Uh, mint the arcade one-up board. Okay, Stevie, good question. Yes, the arcade one-up version is good for what it is. Uh, but the, I guess the, it must be the resolution they put it at. You can see a lot of pixels, or maybe it's some kind of like, uh, what do you call it, filter they put over it, and it just doesn't look very good, I think. And of course, ultimately, if you're still playing with stock Mortal Kombat arcade one-up controls, they're just trash compared to half. It doesn't mean they're not good enough to enjoy. Like, I've played the game before I modded it, and I, I didn't hate them, but... They feel really loose and cheap compared to uh, hap sticks and buttons and all that. And we'll get to talking about the hap sticks and buttons later. Because I had a really good conversation with Tornado Terry yesterday. So, uh, nothing major. But, you know, it's nice to talk to the guy finally and really uh, see his passion for things. And his arcade. I mean, it was so much fun. I can't wait to tell you guys about that later. But I want to try to stay on track. Man, Jax is just throwing me around. Get out of here, Jax. Stop it. What's he doing? Maybe I have that alternate uh, AI thing turned on. Well, anyway, let's skip this hint. Let me try not to dive before I even get this switched. I think I got the next one put up, but I'll have to look in a second. Need to hire a producer. Hold on. Okay, the next one is not up, it looks like. I'll put it up after this fight, if I win. Let's see. Ooh, Jax is getting mean. Okay. Hint number three is now, should be popping up any second here. I hate that I'm watching myself on a delay. Okay, Mission City. This is hint number three. Mission Control Center. Center Mission Control Central Forever. Wow. I'm not as good at this. Uh, go ahead and give me a fatality. I had to do it quick enough. I don't really know what this is. Um, this is probably a 70s game, I assume, and that's probably why I have no idea what it is. There, who knows? Uh, if you guys have any ideas, let me know on that one, but really excited to think about the next one. The next one is one that I think everyone's going to be excited for. Okay, I thought I was going to play as someone else. Whoops. Hidden character. Oh, Zach. Sorry, Zach. I saw your question. Thank you for asking about the wife. I think for the first time in a while, I think she's starting to feel a little more normal. Let me... God, I'm back on the portal. I really want to fight stupid Jade. But anyway. Um, she's starting to feel a little more normal. Uh... Like, we went on that little road trip yesterday to Fort Worth. That's about a four-hour, well, three-and-a-half-hour car ride there. And that was the only time she started really feeling it a little bit yesterday, was by the end uh, by the end of the trip, she was like, I'm glad we didn't do this any sooner in my recovery, because she was already getting miserable sitting in the car. But, yeah, she's doing better. I mean, she's still, like, she can walk a lot more normally now, thankfully, but even longer distances now, which is good. I had no idea she would have to get, uh, what do you call it, physical therapy for a bruised muscle. It just didn't make any sense to me. I thought, oh, she'll just heal up in a couple, maybe a week and a half. But anyway, toasty? No toasty. Anyway, but it's just insane that it, it took that long. But thank you for asking. The bruise is, like, pretty much non-existent now, but she still is, like, 
it's really creepy. She has a hard spot in her skin, under her skin, and it's a pretty large hard spot where, like, I guess there's still dead stuff and or bruised muscle and skin. It's awful. But, um, anyway, she's going to be better soon. I hope. <laughs> We're still waiting on the figuring out what's happening with our jet ski, though. And i got to haul that up there uh, next weekend to have them start assessing the damage and how much it's going to cost, but we'll see. Uh, so anyway, Missile, Command, something, who knows what game they're going to release. If it's another 70s game, if that's what this hint is about, personally, I'm getting... I'm too old, or too young for 70s games anyway, so I just don't care. I mean, I'll be glad to tell you guys about it, if you didn't know about it, uh, but I'm, I'm definitely not buying it. I, oh, come on. I'm trying to get a stupid corner here. I'm definitely dead. Uh, I don't care, personally. I won't ever buy the thing. I find those games, they weren't from my time frame, so please don't be offended with me saying this if you love them. But those games, to me, are like, play them two times, and you're pretty much, you've already played every bit of it. It's just kind of the same thing instantly and all that. In fact, the oldest games so far that I actually like are the Star Wars games from the Star Wars arcade one up. Wow, I cannot remember it. Anyway, so other than that, other 70s and even most early 80s games, I mean, I can appreciate Pac-Man, all that. I don't really care, personally. I could live without them, let's say that. I was kind of hoping they'd be moving on from that, but I know there's still plenty of games they never released, and I'm sure there's a lot of people who want those games, so we'll just uh, let them appreciate those. Look at this guy. I'm going to put up the next hint in a second, which is the one I think I'm most excited about, because I was trying to figure it out, and it, it, when P-Dubs left his comment about what he thinks it is, I realized, oh, that makes sense. So let me try to get that up really quickly. Okay. Of course, I'm getting beat up by Baraka, so I can't look. Okay, that's still not the one I'm excited about, because it's saved the best for last. So this one, the Game of Thrones one, I originally thought the pinball, maybe? Game of Thrones pinball? And that's, I think, a, a reasonable prediction. Or, you know, if I'm just guessing from the hint, essentially. I don't know if it's a prediction. Let's get toasty. That was a new sound. Still no toasty, though. I think I did it wrong, though. So, Game of Thrones. That could be... Someone pointed out that that could be Dragon's Lair, because Dragon's Game of Thrones, and I realize now... That's actually a pretty good prediction because oh, because I know they've already been talking about uh, oh god uh, Dragon's Lair. I mean, I've actually talked not talked to John, but he replied to a question I had about it, and that kind of made sense to me that they might be doing it. What he said to me that day was that they made it very obvious that they've already been looking into fixing it or getting it ready and checking out how it works like it's i think that's gonna happen and that may be something we see at this ces finally but we'll see the only other thing i can think is uh pinball though game of thrones pinball maybe now, i don't know anyone who's like i love game of thrones pinball but it's possible that's what we're gonna get the ai is so cheap stevie i just saw that and i probably because i'm agreeing with you mentally um so let me get to the hint number five, the one that I'm most excited about finally. I know it's been... Oh, hold on. David Dimming with some, some knowledge here, looks like. Oh, God, I can't. I can't try to read it and play this ridiculous AI. Oh, now I get a toasty. I can't even remember it. Uh, 1972 equals Atari. Game of Thrones equals Warlord. Storm equals Tempest Command. Oh, God, if that's really what it is, like, is anybody really itching for those older games? But maybe they are. I, I gotta stop being a jerk. I think I might want her to kill me so I can at least end up in the bottom of the pit, but I know I could beat her doing this. We'll see, though. All right. I'm gonna get... Oh, okay. Zach, you've heard a few people say that these Simpsons might be coming. I've heard that too, and I can see why they would think that. I'm going to go ahead and just let her beat me so you can see me in the bottom of the pit. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I just don't know if we're going to see that this time, but we'll see. That'd be a big get for him, though. Now, here we go. I'm going to let her kill me so I can at least talk about this and pay attention. Easy wins right here. Yeah. yeah I can't let her get a... Can I? I don't want to let her get a... Yeah. Lawless on me. Here we go. Going in the pit. 
Uh, okay, that was fun. Thank you, Gary Travis. I just saw your other messages. I'll get back to them. But thank you for the like. If you guys don't mind, please like the stream. I know it's annoying to ask, but anyway. Here's the next one. CES hint, CES, wow. CES hint number five. At first, I thought not much of it. I thought, oh, some kind of punch out's coming because it says Mike Tyson, Arcade 1-Up official uh, at NOA, which is Nintendo of America. So I'm thinking, could they have really got punch out? There's no way they'd get the Tyson one, probably, unless, I don't think the Tyson one was ever in arcades. So it's possible that, uh, I don't know. It just didn't make any sense to me. But let me see if I can make it fall off this time. There we go. But Tyson was seen recently playing an arcade one-up of Mortal Kombat 2. So immediately people think, especially Zohar, poor Zohar. I know he's dying for that, that proper re-release that he's been wanting. Um, but they immediately think that, hey, maybe it's, um, hold on. Maybe it's going to be a re-release with online play, which would be amazing. I'm not going to lie. But I don't know that they'd be re-releasing it that quickly. And P-Dubs had the idea of putting this, putting it together this way, and I'm surprised I didn't even think about this. Mike Tyson, which is basically TJ Combo and Killer Instinct, Nintendo of America put together Killer Instinct and all that. Now, of course, Nintendo no longer owns Killer Instinct, but maybe it was a, a way to throw us off the scent. It could be possible that we're finally going to get a Killer Instinct arcade one up, but man, I would be... If I had to give it a percentage chance of happening next week, which is when CES is, I saw somebody ask that earlier, it's actually, apparently they're going to be announcing on the 11th. That's when, uh, they're actually not technically at CES, they're just going to be announcing, but uh, during CES time. And sometime on Monday is all we know. Unfortunately, I have some work on Monday. And I have to get that done in the... I'll probably be, you know, done by about the afternoon, though. This guy's going to screw me. Yep. Well, at least we had a fatality. I'll probably be done about noon, so hopefully I... Or maybe... Geez, probably more like 2.30. But anyway, I'll get a video or a stream done that evening. We'll talk about all the stuff that's been announced. But the reason I, I could see this possibly being Killer Instinct is because... I've already made a video about this whole thing, but... Of course, Code Mystics has been working on... Every one of their cabinets, from what I can tell, since Star Wars, Code Mystics did the Killer Instinct version that's on the Xbox One, the Xbox, or Killer Instinct Classic on the Xbox One. Uh, they're very good with working with that hardware. They, they probably could even tell them, like, hey, we could possibly come up with some, the exact specs you need, basically, to run Killer Instinct, because I don't care what anybody says, everyone likes to say, it's 25 years old, you can run that game, no problem. If you've ever tried to run it on a Raspberry Pi, you'll know why they're going to have trouble running it. Their hardware, as far as I know, isn't even as powerful as a Raspberry Pi, and they still struggle, uh, and Raspberry Pi still struggle to run Killer Instinct now. I just don't see them releasing something that's going to push the equivalent of the Raspberry Pi to its limit and still not run smoothly. Now, unless, I guess it's possible that Code Mystics found a way to optimize the emulation, since they had so much, uh, they're, they're pretty much geniuses in emulation anyway, but since they've had so much experience working with the game already, maybe they know a way to, this guy is going to get me, yeah, anyway, so it's possible is all I'm saying, but I want to hear what you guys think on that one, I know Nintendo no longer owns it, Midway, uh, Midway, Microsoft owns it now, so all references of Nintendo will be removed from the game, which I think really sucks, that attract mode is like iconic in my opinion. God, I hate you when you're spamming. Um, so we might be seeing Killer Instinct, but I don't know. The only reason I would buy it, though, like my wife, when I told her this theory, she was like, oh, you just spent all that time making a Killer Instinct. It's like, I don't care. I, I want the arcade version. I don't want the edited for new owner version. Um, so the only way I would buy it is if it had online play, which, again, Code Mystics already made the net code. It works pretty darn well. And it's just begging to have some kind of uh, use at this point. I don't think too many people play the Xbox One version online anymore. So it's all there. It could happen. And if that's the case, if they do release a Killer Instinct with online play, I have no choice but to buy it so I can play with you guys. I think that would be a lot of fun. I don't know where I'm going to put a second Killer Instinct because I won't get rid of mine. Look at this spamming. I'm spamming too. But... Uh, I won't get rid of my KI, but I'll definitely buy it and figure out somewhere to put it. Even if I only keep it for a short time to enjoy playing with you guys for until the excitement dies down. But 
Anyway, that's my thought. <clears throat> Zach says the Nintendo license would be huge. Let me scroll back up because Gary gave me a compliment. I always love compliments, of course. Gary Travis, one of my new favorite live channels. Good to see you back using Katana for the first time since last week. Good. Thank you, Gary. But if it's just some boring old punch out kind of thing, and I hate to say it's boring, but uh, it's not. I enjoyed playing it on the NES when I was a kid. I enjoyed it, you know, with the Mike Tyson one, but I, I just don't care enough to buy the cabinet. Now, if it's like a dual monitor thing, like the real arcade, that'd be pretty cool, though. I'm going to take this off the screen now. That's the last hint or prediction I do have. Um, good point, Gary. I know I'm all over the place and I'm missing stuff. I'm going to stop playing this game soon so I can actually pay attention uh, the speakers need to be good and I, I agree if they release it on the junk I mean the arcade one-up speakers aren't terrible but if they it needs a better sound system I was thinking today I'm surprised they didn't actually put a subwoofer in the real arcade even a, just a small one it didn't need to blow the cabinet apart but it, to feel those punches through the cabinet like I get to do on my arcade one-up version is amazing to me I guess I might as well finish out this darn game since we're this close to the end yeah, that's what you get. Uh, let's see. Keon, Killer uh, killer Instinct Online would be killer. I agree. I think that would drive people to arcade one-up like crazy. I mean, the idea of... I mean, people already love playing the NBA Jam stuff online, but the question is, I don't know what it takes to play these online. Like, what's the back end like? Is... Xbox Live doing a lot of work to make it work, or is it not that much? So, of course, they could do a deal with Microsoft, make, hey, use our servers. Uh, we have the whole setup ready to go. You can actually just run your our games on our, our your games on our server through the cabinet, and that would save Arcade One up a ton of time. And you know, Microsoft's got the extra server space just going. Uh, it's not like Xbox Live has been taxed in the last few years. I'm sure it's it's got plenty of power, and Microsoft as a company has tons of money to make that happen if they want. And why wouldn't they at this point? Um, if you think about it, they don't sell that game separately as far as I know. You can't just go to the Xbox Live store and just buy Killer Instinct Classic. So why not make some kind of money off of it in the long run? Zohar is here. Just came to drop money. Thank you, Zohar. You're very kind. You're welcome anytime, whether you drop money or not. I did just mention you earlier about predictions for CES. I don't know if you're here for that, but I don't know if you're still here now. I was mentioning the uh, possibility of a tease of a new Mortal Kombat cabinet, but I don't know if it's going to happen. But if it does, they better call it the Zohar edition is what I'm saying. Oh, Fatality. I forgot about this one. You, Some of you guys may have never seen this Fatality, actually. Zohar is the man, Jeff. Zohar rocks. I loved his music video. <laughs> that was so fun. I made my wife watch it too, and she was laughing. Okay, I missed all kinds of stuff, and I'm really sorry. Uh, oh boy. Gary wishes they could have a Tekken one, two, three, and tag. I think a lot of people would buy that one. I don't know. I don't know enough about the emulation for that one. I don't know if it's perfected yet to actually pull that off, though. I'm going to finish this game really quick, and then we'll switch to another cabinet. Maybe we'll switch to Killer Instinct, because I'm good at Killer Instinct, and I don't have to really focus on the gameplay as much, like I do on this game, to not die all the time. And I can read the chat a little bit better, and I do want to get to my Tornado Terry's talk. But to wrap up all the prediction talk, by the way, enough with the hints. I firmly believe we're going to see another pinball announced, which seems kind of weird since they don't even have the other ones out yet, but I think for like a down-the-line thing, uh, we're going to see, nope, I think we're going to see like, this is the next pinball coming, it'll be out Christmas this year, uh, yeah, this year, and then we're possibly going to see another light gun, I know somebody mentioned Time Crisis earlier, and I would really like, uh, a time crisis cabinet especially if they can get a good foot pedal going i just don't know how they're going to do time crisis anything but time crisis one because two doesn't emulate well unless they've got some special deal with namco if namco's even still a company i don't even know i'm dying right and left here fatality oh he could have done his other one but I think that's possible too. Now, as far as the cabinets go, there's been no leaks that I know of. I'm sure now that I'm streaming, a leak will pop out and I'll totally miss it while we're live. But 
There's nothing I've heard of yet. I'm gonna wrap this up, hopefully. Zohar, always love your stream. Thank you. Always, always watch the live stream. Thank you. No problem, Zohar. Thank you for coming by, and thank you very much for the super chat, because that's very, very helpful. I'm saving all my uh, YouTube income for whatever's next. I don't know what that's going to be now that I've finished the Carnival cabinet. I feel, I mean, I know what's next, but as far as, like, anything special goes, I don't know. This is not going well. What's next is going to be probably the Killer Instinct redo, where I update the art and make it look a lot better. Probably get a new marquee, too. We'll see. But I'm kind of quietly hoarding, hoarding my money for... The chance that I find a real arcade game that, oh, I hate that, that they added that in the corner thing here now, because you can't juggle them, but, um, okay, that was a waste. Just in case I ever find, like, a racing cabinet that's really cheap, hold on, a really cheap racing cabinet, like a Hydro Thunder or a San Francisco Rush. Now, when I say really cheap, I see those guys on the Facebook groups talking about how, yeah, I picked up this racing cabinet for $50. The guy didn't want it. He just said, come get it out of here. I would do that with almost anything that's halfway complete because $50 is such a deal that I could buy it. I could store it in the garage. I don't know where, but I could store it. I hate you, Kentaro, right now. At least you'll give me another fatality this time. Store it in the garage. I can have a project to work on on the, the channel, and that would be really fun. The only thing that would hurt me is if I do find like a Hydro Thunder and a uh, San Francisco Rush that I want and say it's a great deal and they're in great shape, I could buy them. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I can't put them in this current house. Uh, not unless it goes downstairs and even then I don't know where the heck that would even be. So that would really hurt me because I don't want to be pressured to sell it and then miss out on it and then you know something could happen like it's another 10 years before I can actually buy one. and. Then they're, you know, they cost five thousand dollars because they're so rare or something. So that would that would really suck if that was the case. Please walk into that. I really don't want to fight you much more. Oh, I hate you. Namco is still around. Thank you, Riley. Uh oh. Let's see if we can just do this. Nope. God, he's like a rabbit all of a sudden. Why isn't he doing his roar afterwards? There we go. Not going well. There's no way this is gonna work. I'm watching the life chip away. Wow. <laughs> Bedroom arcade. Okay, I'm so terrible. I'm missing the chat. I like it's like some of my favorite part of streaming is actually getting it be a nerd and talk to you guys about arcade stuff because nobody I know cares at all about arcade stuff like nobody I know you know I, I don't see a lot of people now anyway but it's not like I'm, I'm talking to a lot of people about arcade stuff very often I, I had a long talk with Tornado Terry or Tornado Terry yesterday at his arcade I just finished him off I saw somebody say lower the difficulty where to go <laughs> ah I'm gonna miss it this should be pretty easy though Come on. Uh oh. I don't like that they stopped you from juggling in the corners, though. That's a change on MK2 Plus. I'll just throw a fan at him. He's pretty easy when you really do that. <sighs> okay. So I'm sure if I did find a really cheap arcade that I've always wanted. I don't think the wife would tell me absolutely not. I think she would not want it in the bedroom, even though that's, we have tons of room in the bedroom, but it has to go upstairs. That's the biggest problem. I don't want to put it upstairs. Here we go. Finally done. Jeez, that was ridiculous. Okay. Let's see if I missed too much. David says the only pinball we are seeing is Attack from Mars. John D has said. Only five new cabs at CES. Okay. You see, I don't... I need to be more active in the groups. I should probably have a better relationship with those guys. But, oh well. I'm not very social, I'll be honest. Uh, oh. Oh, that was a, not a good time right there. Um, let's see. Soul for Sale is double 
dragon off the table since that's a good question i really don't know that one sold for sale i'm sorry i don't know if someone in the chat can tell you <clears throat> pole, pole position one and two that could be interesting i think it'd be cool if they made another racing cabinet but i don't know what they would make at this point other than maybe older games like that gary travis x-men turtles simpsons in the same cabinet that would be uh your it would cover your childhood yeah that would be really cool but too many licenses to clash with i don't know how they're ever going to work something like that out but you can always make it yourself Zach said, oh, Bedroom Arcade, I saw that one already. Patrick, did you change the difficulty on your MK cabinet? I don't think so. I'm going to check before I move off this cabinet, though. Uh, I'm going to let the credits roll for now, because I that was embarrassingly bad, but this is MK2+, Plus, so it's possible. I, I don't play this one as much anymore, which nothing against the game. I love the game. It's just I, I don't play it that much. Star Wars Trilogy Arcade, that would be really cool. I... I don't know, though. I don't know enough about it to say if it could happen or not. Um, I think it would sell really, really well, especially if they kind of replicated that stand-up arcade look. Maybe even the sit-down. Imagine if they could put the neon in the sit-down part. I think that would look really cool. I think it had pink neon look like, uh, kind of look like lightsabers in the seat. I, I'm trying to remember back to the one that was at the arcade I worked at. Uh, let's see. Good point, David. The problem with X-Men and Simpsons is the same problem with TMNT. After you play through them like five times, you find them, find yourself not playing them much more after that. I I agree. I do remember those games fondly, but when you go back and play them again once, it's like, that was that. You know, I don't need to... I don't know if I need to do that again. And then you don't... Like, then you have to invest time. Like, you sit down to play, like, I want to get to this level. Well, now you got to make sure you play all the way through. That's the only bad part. Chip damage. That's right. K-Dub, just that. Is this Mortal Kombat 2 Ultimate? It is Mortal Kombat 2 Plus. So, yeah, basically, I'd call it Ultimate. How's that? <clears throat> Keon, 12-in-1, Tempest, Dragon Lair, Dragon's Lair, Killer Instinct, Simpsons with X-Men, with the hints of a star. Okay. If that's... I think that's a pretty wide range of games for all different gamers. You know, different decades all mixed in there. So I think that would be good. Uh, let's see. John D. said Star Wars Trilogy 2022. Wow. That's a long... I feel like that's so far away, but it, it's really not, I guess. <clears throat> it seems weird you would announce, kind of like, quietly announce that, but we'll see. If we're talking... It's Devil says, if we're talking cheap racing arcades, I did, a, I did see a cheap original Fast and the Furious arcade. I can't remember what site it was from. Yeah, I don't even... I don't like that game that much. I played it, actually it was at Tornado Terry's. I I sat down for a minute, I was like, I don't know, I just don't, I don't know what it was about it, it didn't draw me in. But if any of these games are under 100 and they look good, I'm gonna buy them. I mean, I think it'd just be fun to have it in the house and then I could resell it. I could be a little more patient with the sale. Maybe the person's like, it's gotta go now, get it out, and that's that. Now, if it's upstairs, no way. I'm, I'm not going upstairs to get it. What the heck, where's my uh, menu? There we go. Let's see the difficulty real quick. Oh, it's on very easy. Super embarrassing. Let's see if the different AI is on, though. Gameplay. No, it's off, so I just suck. That's all there was to that. Probably because I'm highly distracted right now, but I can make all the excuses I want. I'm not that great at the game. <clears throat> what next, guys? You want some... Uh, if you saw the, um, the uh, thumbnail, I can pretty much play any of those. The only one I cannot play on stream. I was trying to figure out a way to work this out is the Star Wars cabinet, because it's downstairs. I can't load... I have to make, like, three trips up and down the stairs to load up all the camera stuff and the computer, and I, it would just be impossible to do while I'm still streaming. So, I wish I could do that one. I'm going to do it just maybe tomorrow, if I don't have much going on. It's supposed to maybe even snow here. And if it snows in this part of Texas, you don't leave the house, because we don't know what the heck we're doing on the road. So, maybe I, if there's, we're real bored, I'll ask my wife if I could do a live stream down there. I know she's going to be doing a podcast tomorrow, or being a guest on a podcast. So I gotta time it around that. <clears throat> oh, I'm losing my voice already. It's time for Hubert, says Jeff. Hubert, all I think when I think Hubert is my uncle. For some reason they call my uncle Gilbert Hubert. I don't know why. Could be a, a thing I don't wanna know the story to. Uh, let's see, so far. Okay, Patrick, I get that. I got a uh, Patrick here in Houston. I don't think you're going to get snow in Houston, because Houston's too much by the ocean. I mean, I'm sure you could probably do it, but 
By the way, Patrick, you're about to get a side arcade there, so uh, I would love to hear from you if you go there when it opens. I'm a little afraid of Houston right now, to be honest. I know you guys had a heck of a corona outbreak, and you had the new strain and all that, so I don't know if I'm going to go there and hang out. If I do, it'll be during the weekday like I did yesterday, so I might as well... Let me switch cabinets, and then I'll talk about Tornado Terry's. Um, since no one said anything, I'm just going to go to the game that I can play the best while talking, and that's Killer Instinct. I'm really hoping... Uh, let me, let me test one thing really quick and see if my transition videos are working. Uh, let's see. They are not working. So, uh, give me... You're going to see darkness for about uh, a couple seconds. I'll put a transition video on after that. And then we'll be playing Killer Instinct in under two minutes. So give me a couple minutes while I do all that. I wish this would have gone smoothly, but... Is that your best? Oh, wow. There's no way I'm number one there. Anyway. Okay, we're going to black, and then I'll give you guys a video. Oops, I forgot to plug in. <laughs> okay, things are going great. Forgot to plug in the game screen. Okay, now let me fight with this for 20 minutes and then it'll come on. Ooh. Did it come up right away? Good, okay. Okay, I saw somebody asking about what podcast will the wife be on tomorrow, and I'll let her tell you because I asked her and she ran up to to uh tell tell me so go ahead you're not in there are you? Yeah. she's just off camera right now I, i'm off camera uh, it's it's a patreon only um podcast the one of the guys that is on a podcast called the bad motivators they talk about star wars they each one of them has their own side podcast and his is called tarkin tangents where they talk about beer and star wars <laughs> so I really like beer and Star Wars, and that's why I'm going to be on. Drunk nerds. <laughs> I can't say you're nerdy, though. Look what I'm doing. <clears throat> All okay. right. Thank you. Love you. Love you. I'm going to close it a little for now. Okay. I may have missed stuff. Uh, what was it? I want to talk about Tornado Terry's, and I'll tell you guys if you're not familiar what Tornado Terry's is. Okay. The fear, the feet is rare. <laughs> Would like to check out all of your cabinets, Patrick. Well, uh, we'll do that 
Uh, we'll do that soon. Hopefully I can maybe play something from all of them today. I don't know. Oh, I need to get my MK2 running. Um, before I start playing, let me set up what I'm going to talk about, which is Tornado Terry's. Uh, Tornado Terry's is an arcade in Fort Worth, Texas. But mainly the reason you guys may know him is because he's probably selling you guys the hat buttons and sticks, the ones that I link to all the time. Excuse me, he's on eBay. He's the guy to go to. Uh, hold on, let me grab, I've got him right here. He's the guy you want to go to if you want to make sure you get quality hat buttons and sticks. He orders direct from them. He sells you those. Now, we can all get, of course, these knockoff buttons here. These aren't knockoff buttons, but... You can always get a knockoff of these kind of buttons. Where is my cameras? Where's this one? This is just the one I pulled from the Carnival cab. I changed it to look more like the real cabinet. But these are the important thing. The micro switches, which are normally the ones you get from random eBay sellers, are kind of just junk. These have really good click. You don't have to push that hard. And that means it's going to feel like the original arcade. These are the ones that were pretty much in the original arcades. Before somebody corrects me, I know now it's Suzo Hap, and back then it was just Hap, but that's fine. Okay. Wait, your video? Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> oh, boy, my voice is really going. Okay. So, I went to see his arcade yesterday. I've been there before. I usually go on Thanksgiving when I go to my wife's family stuff up there. I sneak away because I'm not... I can only have so much socializing, and then I sneak off and go play video games or go take my bike somewhere and ride. Uh, but he has a great arcade. He seems to have a love for old... I would assume he has the love for the 90s Midway games like probably you guys do and I do. Um, and he has a great selection. I mean, of course, it could always be better. He has Mortal Kombat, but I'm, I don't... Hopefully Zohar is not still here. He has an MK4 only, but it has MK3 in it. I can't remember if it's Ultimate or not. But it's one of those deals where you push the start buttons and you can uh, you can switch over to MK3. But uh, yeah, so I always loved it because Killer Instinct and MK4 is exciting to me. I have these at home, so I went to play other stuff. I knew he had a Hydro Thunder, which is one of my all-time favorite racing games, and I rarely get to play the real arcade anymore. It's so hard to actually find when you go to an arcade. And he had that one. He had two of those, actually, and they were in pretty good shape. They've been modified to have the LCD monitor because the original probably went out and it was just much cheaper and easier to put that in. And truthfully, I don't hate when they replace those cabinets monitors with an LCD because the LCD actually looks pretty good. I mean, I don't think you're losing that much in that case. Now, if I walk up to a Killer Instinct and it looks really weird, it has that widescreen monitor in it that doesn't fill up the whole area... I don't, I would probably not buy that from somebody if it was for sale unless it was really cheap. And if it was really cheap, I'd probably mainly buy it for the arcade board and just to say I have one in the house. But anyway, but I don't mind when they replace those like that. He also had a San Francisco Rush 2049. I prefer San Francisco Rush The Rock, but I'm starting to love 2049 now that I have it in my Star Wars cabinet. Um... I'm finding, you know, the game's actually a lot more fun than I remember, so it was really cool to sit down and play the real thing. He still had the subwoofer working in the seats, at least on one of the Hydro Thunders, and on the, the Rush, I mean, they were so loud that it was actually almost too much. It was, like, tickling to sit in it because it was vibrating so much. But he's got some really good games there. He's got a mix of games, too. He's got a classic section with, like, the Centipedes and Dragon's Lair and all that. Uh... He's got a bunch of good stuff. He's even got the new stuff like Fire Team, Raven, whatever, the Halo one. Cruise and Blast Ultra. Or I always say Cruise and Blast Ultra, and I don't know why I add the Ultra. But Cruise and Blast, which I don't hate for a new game. That's actually a pretty good new racing game. It's not got a lot of depth to it, but it's pretty fun. Uh, the new Jurassic Park game was there. He had Carnival. Uh, he had Dirty Drive, and I wished he'd had an H2 Overdrive, but he didn't. Anyway, it's a it's not a huge arcade. You have to pay fifteen dollars to play unless you pay cash. You have to pay fourteen. It's a little pricey. He does have a ticket section. He does have uh, a pinball, a few pinball machines, but you have to pay tokens for those. So if you're a pinball nerd, maybe don't go there unless uh, I think he still makes you pay the fee to get in plus a token. So go there for the classic arcades, or if you're in the area and you need some parts, as long as he's there, he'll sell you parts cheaper than you can get them on eBay. So while I was there, 
I saw a guy standing behind the counter, and I assumed it was Terry. So I asked him, and uh, he, he of course said it was he was Terry. And I asked if I could buy a couple buttons from him for the Carnival build. I was changing those up a little, and then I just got to talking to him and was telling him how I, I've always linked to his stuff. Let's do a humiliation. I always link to his stuff, and uh, yeah. So I talked to him for like probably 15 minutes, and he was telling me a little bit about his love for proper micro switches and he will not sell you junk i mean he's made it really really clear he wasn't just he was a very genuine guy he's not gonna stand there and lie to me basically but he was he just says he will not sell the crap like uh if hap sent hap sent him some other switches and didn't tell him that it would be different even though they're good switches he still would not sell them to people without telling them ahead of time so i thought that was really nice I wish I had the switch that I hate that came with some other buttons I ordered a long time ago. I hate these micro switches. They're terrible. They're hard to push. I don't like them at all. So that's why I always say people just go buy from Tornado Terry. Stop it. Uh, go buy from Tornado Terry because he, oh God, he's on eBay. He could sell it to you and he's going to sell you stuff that's quality. All, every bit of the controls in this room are done by Tornado Terry's. Even the MK4, which you can't really see it, it's over here. Even the MK4, which I didn't even build, was built by a subscriber and I bought the cabinet from him. He used Tornado Terry's for those. So I should have probably thought the link to it ahead of time, but I didn't. So sorry, Terry. But if you need the link, leave me a comment on this later and I'll be sure to leave you a link to his eBay store. Very fair prices too. And he'll, he'll let you like customize an order if you need to. <sighs> okay, so now that I got that out of the way, uh, what did I miss in the chat? I see somebody, it looks like someone from Mexico is here. Takata SRT, do Mexico saludos. Okay, I'm assuming that means you're from Mexico, and hello. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't, you'd think living in San Antonio I would learn some Spanish. I've learned a little bit, but uh, I really need to learn more of it I guess but anyway thank you for being here and I know Killer Instinct is big in Mexico big Killer Instinct fan base down in Mexico it's crazy how much oh he didn't go off on that one it's crazy how much there is uh, I know this mainly too because I have a Facebook group that used to be for my Killer Instinct website that's now closed but a lot of Spanish pops up on there I noticed there's a Killer Instinct classic group that's pretty much based in Mexico so I don't understand half the stuff on there, but I went ahead and joined because I love Killer Instinct so much. I noticed, and Mexico's where like all the guys who know all the glitches are. Like, actually, one of the guys who used to help out on my website, he would send me like all. I think he was pretty much responsible for all the files being available on the internet nowadays, like where you can get the announcer's voice separated from everything else. He sent those all to me. I uploaded them and hosted them for a long time, and. Uh, he just, he knew a lot of stuff. Like, all those guys know all the glitch combos. They'll do the crazy, like, infinite, not infinite, but, you know, over 80 hit combos on the original Killer Instinct. It's really impressive. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Grayton, are you still here? I will, I need to know for, if I do your, play with that software in a little bit. <clears throat> Patrick, you got to see, okay, you got to see in the video, the... All the different cabinets. Yeah, I thought I'd, that'd be a much better thing than you guys just looking at blank screens or a countdown screen. I figure it's like a mini commercial in a way, but hopefully more entertaining. Uh, Diego's a jerk. Demilo! Demelo. Did I say it wrong? Now I forgot. Anyway, happy to see you here. You'll send me all the news that would lead to nothing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Patrick, am I using RetroPie? Nope, I just use MAME. I'm old school emulator guy because I don't know anything about all that new stuff. So now I sound like an old man. I don't know anything about all that new whipper snapper stuff. Uh, but I've always been the type of just uh, set up MAME. DeMello. God, I messed it up. Set up MAME and uh, set up my front end and that's it. I don't, I don't mess with all that stuff. Okay, great and still. Oh, rock and roll is still here. Sorry, I just saw that. The Man Beast, San Antonio. Are you from San Antonio, Man Beast? I don't know if you're uh, into the art, local arcade stuff that used to be here at least. But, oh, I got him freaking out. 
Ooh, that was that's so weird that it does that. I don't know if that's programmed to do that or if it's a problem, but yeah. DeMello. I'm gonna remember that. Because then I get it in my head, and my, I start thinking, wait, is it that way or that way? And I screw it up again. Sorry. I'll remember you because you're a DeMello guy. And you've been around, like, I don't know when you first joined my website back in the day, but God, it's, I started that site in 2006, so it had to be somewhere around there. God, I'm, I can't get my timing right. Oh, Diversion's still around. Good question, Man Beast. It is. There's one location. Uh, it's not what it used to be. It never will be again. It's mainly all the newer arcades because they got to make a living. I understand. But uh, Diversions, if you guys aren't from this area, that was the arcade chain back in the day. They, I always talk about them, but you guys don't know them by name, of course. They always got the games and got the new games and kept them in unbelievable shape. Like, you'd never walk in there and find that place dirty. If you did, something was wrong. Like, I, I seriously never saw the place dirty. But I did see the employees constantly using that little Swiffer vacuum and just cleaning the... It wasn't a Swiffer at the time, but he was just cleaning the floor all the time. They're always wiping down the games. All their games always worked. There were never bad controls. If something was wrong, they fixed them. I couldn't get enough. Uh, I missed that place so much. I loved the smell of that place. It was clean smelling. You know, a lot of people have those memories of the old arcade. They'd go in and it was scary and kind of dirty and smelled funny and there was cigarette burns on everything. Well, you couldn't smoke here. And if you were caught, like, mistreating their games, they would tell you to leave. Like, if you were a pissed off kid and smacking the control deck, they would just be like, nah, get out of here. Anyway. But they're down to one location now. It's off uh, San Pedro, near North Star Mall, actually. And I haven't been there in years, but last time I was there, it was like... It didn't... Their killer instinct disappeared, and I stopped going there. That's all I'm getting at, basically. But I'm glad they're still around. I don't know if the same person still owns it, but it was so good. The one I grew up playing at was the one off uh, Perimbile. If you guys are local at all. Tony M, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Is that where you are right now, Tony? Lars Land. Oh, man, I forgot about Lars Land. Wow. And Rocky J's. Rocky J's was kind of that scary place, though. I had a few birthday parties there where they would, you could rent out the whole place and they would put all the games on free play. That was like a kid's dream back then, even though they didn't have the best games in the world. And it was kind of in bad shape and a little scary. But if, if it was just you and your family there, that was fine. I would not go there on a Saturday night, I'll tell you that. Who knows you'd, who you'd run into there or the type of person you'd run into. I do, I actually drive by one of the old locations of it every now and then, and I'm like, ugh, this place was terrifying. <laughs> we really need some good arcades in San Antonio. We used to have good arcades in San Antonio, or one that had popped up that was really good and had a lot of potential, Ultra Arcade. Um, I talked to the guy who used to run it. He was actually, I think he was on my old Killer Instinct site. He had a Killer Instinct 1 and a 2, I believe. But he mixed it in where, like, where they play, you'd pay to get in and you uh, got to play console games. I never played the console games because that's just not my thing at an arcade. Oh, my God. Um, and uh, I would just buy, you know, get quarters and play the Killer Instinct that was there. And it was tiny. It was cramped. But he was really onto something. And I guess, I don't know, something happened and he had to close. But hopefully it'll come back one of these days. <clears throat> Man, Lars Land, I forgot about Lars Land. I was actually there the night they decided to, whoops, we got to close all of a sudden. I was there to talk to a girl I knew, and at that time I was way more interested in the girl than the uh, games, but I do remember helping them. Did my, oh, I thought it just froze. I do remember helping them kind of close. It was awkward and weird. I mean, I'd already worked at an arcade around that time, so I knew how to do certain things, and like, I think the owner was... <laughs> I don't know, it must have hit them by surprise because they were, everybody was like stunned and there was a lady kind of crying that must have been the owner's wife and I was like, man, uh, this is awkward and I felt so bad because it was like I was watching the end of an arcade. Um, but it was gone after that and I never heard of them again, really. It kind of sucks because the girl I was talking to lost her job and everything, but whatever. At least I got the girl. That's not my wife, though. <clears throat> Moving on, where are we at? I had your, I had a pic of your main page of the news updates. Oh wow, yeah, you were the. That's right, you were the guy who gave me new stuff. Jeez. 
So yeah, if you can watch the arcade one-up news and send it over to me, that'd be great. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, Man Beast, you had your eighth birthday at Rocky J's. It was cool, like, you could pay them a reasonable fee, and you had the whole arcade to yourself for free, and they did allow smoking, I think, because I remember all my uncles and stuff smoking over by the pool table, it was nasty, and I have pictures from those birthday parties there, and even some video that my cousin has. <clears throat> okay. Riz. Stupid question. What game is this? Killer Instinct, buddy. Someone answered for you, though. How you doing, Riz? Good to see you. Uh, how many arcade machines do I have? Uh, if you're counting arcade one-ups as my arcade machines, which I guess I have to count those, I have six now. All modded. Uh, none of them running the original stuff, but I think that made them a lot better. So there you go. Yeah, not the wife, but uh, I don't know what happened. I know what happened to her, but anyway. Tony M, Crossfingers Arcade 1-Up, launched Killer Instinct 1 and 2, at least the Code Mystics versions. I think that's the only versions you'll ever get, because no matter what, you're not going to see Nintendo, you're not going to see this really nice Nintendo screen. That's what would drive me crazy enough to say, I'm not buying that, I'm going to go ahead and make my own, because I want this. How can you not have this? I don't care if it's the attract mode. I want to hear that every time. In fact, that's part of the reason I'm redoing my art. I'm going to point the camera down a little bit. Right here, the newer art files that people are printing out say Nintendo. I want the Nintendo logos on the side. I think that'll look a lot better. And uh, I want a new marquee because my marquee looks like total crap. Killer Instinct 1 and 2 on Arcade 1-Up would be very cool. You'd buy it for the music. Yep. The music's amazing. Okay, guys. Any requests on what to play next? Uh, I've got a... What I haven't played so far... Oh, wait, hold on. Grayton, hold on. Where's my keyboard I need? <clears throat> so Grayton, the Grayton 2000, sent me a... Uh, let me just back out of this. You guys are going to have to look at my desktop and everything for a little bit. Uh, where is it? He sent me... Oh, God, I can't remember where I installed it now. I think it's just sitting in here for now. Yeah, so I can run cheats now on... Killer Instinct and Mortal Kombat, but you know, I'm a big uh, Killer Instinct guy, so I wanted to show that really quick. Where on earth did it go, though? There it is. I think all my buttons are set up, so you can actually go in and add cheats, which this may not be new to you guys, but it's kind of new to me. Like, you can do all kinds of stuff, like infinite credits, infinite time. Uh, I'm not going to mess with all that. I don't know what Earthquake Mode even does, I didn't really play with that much. This one's actually kind of cool. Where is it? P2 Infinite Energy. So you can actually practice. I'll just do a quick example of that. You can practice combos. You can practice all kinds of stuff. And you don't have to worry about their life being taken away because it just stays up the whole time, even though it drops a little. So I could just say, oh, I want to learn how to do this combo and just keep at it. And you're not going to run out of time. You're not going to run out of uh, health on the player. That's one of the things that's pretty nice. I don't know that I would ever set this as my main uh, emulator, because I don't like the idea of getting messed with too much, but that's some of the stuff you could do with that. And then you could do crazy stuff, like where is it? Ultra now, let's just do that. And he just does the ultra. And is he gonna go off? That could be bad. Nope, didn't go off, and I'm still playing, but I don't think you can do an ultra anymore after that. No, you can, look at that. And they don't fall off because their life isn't at the end. So that's pretty interesting. I think I broke the game, though. I can't do anything now. <laughs> anyway. Let me back in. I don't even know if Grayton's still here, so maybe I'll leave it alone for now. I'll wait till he's here, because I I wanted to uh, show him that I finally did it. He sent me these files a while back. <clears throat> All right. Where are we at? NFL Blitz, Riley says, but everyone leaves when I play NFL Blitz, so I'm going to wait on that one. It's weird playing rare games on your Xbox, Patrick. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I can't I can't handle the idea of them removing the Nintendo stuff, though. It really bothered me when I saw that. I knew they had to, but it bothered me. Uh, Jeff Lane, you remember doing laser tag at an arcade mall near your house? God, I miss arcades. I'm so glad they're kind of coming back. Maybe this is just local to me, but... Barcades are opening up right and left and all that. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'll play something else really quick. What are we going to play? J 
John Doe's probably not even here anymore, so I'm not playing Street Fighter since I suck at it. Uh, Primal Rage. We'll do a couple matches of Primal Rage, even though it kind of not that great, I don't think. But yeah, the game is like broken too. Oh, you can you run main name on the Nvidia Shield? Wow, does that run Killer Instinct? Why is it? okay? I don't think I ever played as this little monkey-looking guy. Or ape, I guess. I don't know. Oh, Elevator Action Returns. I do like that game a lot, so give me a second. I don't think people want to see me play Elevator Action, though. Let's see. Do you have a video of your... Ooh. Patrick, do you have a video of yourself showing people how you modify I do uh, actually I think it's in the description on this one even yeah it's down underneath the HP PC section how to mod an arcade one up cabinet it's an hour long detailed it'll tell you pretty much everything you need to know yeah I suck at this game let's get out of here I'll play a couple seconds of elevator action returns really quick yeah you're right you're right Dave <laughs> God, why is I haven't played hardly any of these games I guess Barcades are popular for sure. That's definitely true. They're I don't I like when they do them right. Um, I don't like when it's a bar that has like five arcades and they're all in terrible shape. Uh, but yeah, that's cool, Patrick. Killer Instinct runs on it, so the hardware is getting there. Because the, for the longest time, Killer Instinct was like the game. It was like, no, you can't run Killer Instinct. It's too. You're gonna have to get a high end machine, and now pretty much everybody can run it. Except for arcade one up, I think, but we're gonna find out hopefully. Maybe they can. Oh, another game that Terry had, which I was very excited about, was he actually had a three player Revolution X. I know it's not everyone's favorite game, but I still like that game. Ooh, what's this? A bomb. Oh, hold on. I'm losing my view. <clears throat> so I'll only play probably just a couple more seconds of this. Maybe we'll switch to some light gun games. Those seem to be pretty popular. Still trying to figure out uh, the stuttering on the Carnival, but we'll get it figured out. Even if it just means I don't have a good computer for it. I like that Revolution X... Uh, oh. Revolution X, I th oh wow, I forgot about that. It's actually a fun game, I think. I like it a little bit more than Terminator, which probably isn't going to make me any friends here, but but I didn't play Terminator that much in the arcades. So that could be why. I just prefer it because I like the uh, the older one. How's it going? Your two eyes for me. Getting your arcade going. All right, I'm going to get to this bottom floor and I'm calling it. I don't think people really enjoy me watch or enjoy me playing this one. I guess we'll just switch because nobody's got any requests so far except for Blitz, and I I like Blitz, but I don't think anyone likes me playing it on camera at least. All right, I actually enjoy this game quite a bit. Uh, I'll, I'll play that more one of these days. Ugh, for now, I'm going to have to show you guys the old video because all my videos are messed up and I don't want to give you guys another black screen to watch. So take a look at my arcades while I switch to the light gun machine.
Okay, that was actually really quick. Um, sorry, you guys are going to have to see a little bit of my cabinet or my streaming setup down there. Let's get the camera pointed the right direction. I don't have to play Carnival. To be honest, I'm getting kind of sick of Carnival because I've been working on it so much. There's Killer Instinct making noise over here. <clears throat> Oh, Tony, I just saw it. I'm sorry. Killer Instinct 2. Maybe I'll go back to it. Oh, House of the Dead or Area 51. I can do a little House of the Dead first. It just sucks because I hate to... Uh, I hate to get too deep into it because I can't check the chat, but let's do that for now. Ooh, House of the Dead may be a problem, but we'll try it. Let's see if it pops up widescreen. If it does, it's going to throw off everything. Let's see. Oh, it's widescreen, of course. Okay. It's really weird how it's not showing up properly either. So, I guess I can't do House of the Dead. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but I can do some Area 51. Why? I just realized my sound is out. Oh, are you guys hearing the sound? Uh-oh, hold on. Uh, it's always something, isn't it? But I know why it happened, so let me exit really quick and fix that. Let's see if I can just fix this sound down here. I had to change the input. That's probably not the right thing either, but let's see. Okay. And let me turn it down really quick. It's actually not that loud. Oh, it's on the attract music, though. Okay. Let's see what's going on real quick. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know what it is, but House of the Dead 2, or House of the Dead occasionally shows up widescreen, and occasionally it shows up 4x3 when I'm streaming, and I can't figure out what that is. Okay. Sound is working. I'm going to start midway through the game. This is actually a good point because I think I had the settings to where if I fail, it's going to not let me... Oh, that's much louder than I thought. Hold on. Oh, dear. Okay. If you fail that last mission, you don't actually get to try again. It's just like, all right, game over, which I thought was weird, but I changed some of the settings, and now I think I'm good. Oh, by the way, I do have an update on the Sendin guns. Um... I have ordered them, and originally I was told to probably be here in uh, February. Oh, hold on. Probably be here in February, which I was okay with. It's like, all right, I mean, oh, come on, I almost got that one. Uh, I just ordered them around Christmas. I wish that flashing didn't show up on the stream. Uh, but I expect to get them around February, maybe March, but I got an update, and... The uh, shutdown in the UK for that new strain of coronavirus is causing problems, meaning they're not going to be able to get me. Uh, I'm probably not going to get mine now until like I, I have a, being realistic. I'm thinking March, late March, maybe April, because who knows what's going to happen? Like they could even keep it shut down longer than they expect, and it could be a problem. So I'm not upset because it's not really an issue, but. I would like to finish this out all together, so I might, uh, someone told me about a better sensor bar for the aim track that's only like $36 or whatever it was, and it's supposed to be way more accurate and you can move around the room a little more and not have to be looking at the main, uh, thing you're, you know, like, you don't have to be standing in the exact spot where you set the gun up all the time, which would be nice because I keep having to recalibrate this every couple of weeks or every couple of days probably. And it's very annoying. So, we'll see. If it's only 30 something dollars to give me a better aim track experience for the time being, I might do that. And that way it'll give me something to make a video on. I can talk about it. If it's good, I can tell you guys to pick it up who don't want to wait for Sendin, who may already have aim track guns. I just like shooting these barrels. It's fun. Uh, the elevator game was Elevator Action Returns. Good game. Oh, 
yeah, key on the recoil version. I'm kind of regretting not buying that now, but it was a lot of money, so I think I'm, oh God, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm happy with my non-recoil. I didn't know that on the games where you have to hold down, like say Terminator 2, you can hold it down and it's a machine gun. I didn't know it kept doing the, the recoil. I thought that was really cool. I don't need that fire hydrant. Or that one. Yeah, so yeah, key on the, the delays are not, not gonna be good for me. I don't think I'm getting my my order for quite some time. I thought it's a shotgun. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot that, but that worked. See, I'm having a little bit of aim track problems right there, trying to get that guy in the corner. It's so weird. This gun works great sometimes, and sometimes it's just like, nah, I'm not going to do it today. And I don't like the uh, uncertainty of how well it works. I want to I want to know it's going to work well if anybody just walks up to it and plays it. That's why I went to Sindon, and let's hope Sindon's going to be good. You don't need that screen, and it blew that guy up. Oh. See if I can make it quickly to the ending. Because I've never actually successfully beat this game since I got it set up here. So like you lose and you don't even realize you're on the end battle and all of a sudden it's over and it doesn't it just says, ah, you failed and here's the credits. Like, oh thanks. I I could have done that, but I did change in-game loop in the menu settings, so maybe it'll let me actually be able to play it now. Oh, I killed that guy. He didn't he didn't even have it coming. One of these days, I wouldn't mind sitting down and just playing all of Revolution X or uh, Terminator 2 and live stream it. It may be boring as all hell to you guys, but we'll find out, I guess. So now I've got tons of shells. Oh, now it's dwindling, though. The only part I hate about playing light gun games on the stream is I can't really keep up with the chat very well. Maybe I need to pause the emulation every now and then. See, I'll do that now, actually, so I can check what you guys are saying, if anything. Okay. Okay, so not much is going on. That's fine. The arcade ratings... Brady says, the arcade ratings looks like ESRB style A, M, M, A, 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 O. Yeah, I guess they are. I never really paid much attention to them on the arcades. But yeah, they, they do. <clears throat> on you figure already charging enough with the weight so i said screw it and added the recoil if i could go back and add it maybe i would i don't know if you can do that though brady can you buy johnny nero action hero arcade pcb with the hard drive you're asking me if i can buy it i mean i don't know you might be able to buy it uh but i really don't know if i could buy it i don't know if i would buy it i don't even i've been told i need to check this game out so i just keep forgetting isn't it a light gun game that's like completely insane or something trying to shoot the fire hydrant or extinguisher there you go i have a lot of lives i, I think i changed that in the arcade settings too so i'm not constantly having to continue while playing since i have to stand so far back it's not very much fun to be continuing all the time Oh, good question, DeMello. Uh, did I ask Mick Gordon? I have not asked him that yet. I haven't talked to him in a long time. I emailed him not too long ago, and he replied, but that was before my site took a crap, or got I took it down. Uh, so I don't know. He may not even know how to get a hold of me at this point. If he, he may have even replied, and my email's gone. I can't do anything about it, so I probably should email him and say hi, and maybe tell him what I'm doing these days. <laughs> But I'm sure he'd probably do it. I just I haven't done it yet. I hate to ask the guy. He's already been so helpful and generous in the past. I don't want to. I feel bad constantly asking people to do stuff for me. But maybe he has a game he wants to talk about, and maybe he can promote it a little bit. I know he's always working on Doom lately. It seems like. So 
So we're nearing the end, I think, the end level. I'm just gonna shotgun hold it now. It gets very exhausting doing this all the time. Got a pretty good streak going right there. I really want a second gun so my wife will play with me, but oh well. Not boring, keep going. Thank you, rock and roll. Patrick, this isn't the Wii sensor bar, it's the actual one that comes with the aim track light gun. Extremely similar technology, though. As far as I know, they could be the exact same thing, but they just work differently. So this is weird. It starts just throwing waves and waves of guys at you. Throwing barrels at me. Yeah, that's great. That's all right. I have unlimited lives, so you can do what you want. I'm just going to not shoot the barrels and kill the guys. A little difficult with the aim, uh, yeah, aim track gun there. I'm obsessed with reloading way too often. I always shoot off the screen almost between every enemy. That's kind of how I am in real life, though. Like, always want to be prepared. So I over-prepare at times. There was a little stutter there. It drives me insane. I don't know why it keeps happening. Definitely not interested in having to buy a whole new computer for this build, though, but not just to fix a few stutters. It's not like they're that bad. Oh, I thought, yeah, that was blow up. Okay. Oh, come on. Alright, I, I saw a comment right as I looked down, but I like Arcade went up to release this, of course. Doesn't mean I would buy it, uh, but I don't know. We'll see. What if the cabinet looks really cool? Maybe I'd buy it. But I kind of already have it, you know. And unless they could somehow get Area 51 Site 4 working, which I doubt, because that just you can't emulate that properly anyway right now. I don't think they'd have to offer something I can't do at home, basically. Water time. Where is everybody? I need that ammo crate. I kind of like the crosshairs, guys. I don't know how you guys feel about them. Only because I can lazily play these games, which is nice. I mean, it's fun to pretend like you're storming some hallways and killing dudes like this after a while. But you play this for like an hour and, I don't know, my arm goes numb practically. <clears throat> See you later, DeMello. No. Okay, I saw something about my Johnny Nero action hero, but I gotta go back to that in a second. We're getting near the final boss here and I wanna see if I can actually beat this thing. There we go. Got a big clip. Doesn't matter because I'll still probably reload too much. Oh, here he is. All right, let's see. Oh, come on. I'm gonna go into machine gun mode. I can't remember if I'm supposed to shoot the alien ship right now or the guys. Right, that'll get rid of them. I don't care if I die, I'll just keep shooting this thing so maybe I can actually win. did I beat the game? I don't know. There's no sound. I don't know what happened. I think that was the end of the game. I just don't know. But it's the first time I've ever seen that. Yeah, uh, what's his name? Bob Lazar probably is there in this game somewhere. <laughs> I guess this is the ending, which you'd think it would have been a little more grand for considering how the uh, the actual game looks, but that was cool. My accuracy sucked since I did the machine gun move. Oh, wait a minute. Did it 
it just loop back around? That's it. It just seriously looped back to where I was when I started playing. So that's fine. I'll let that die while I check the chat. Maybe we could talk about it playing a different game. <clears throat> I may try to catch up. Okay, Brady says you can buy it. Oh. Well, Brady, that would be very nice, but I don't know that I can do that. But if anything, maybe, can it be emulated? Maybe I can just emulate it. Patrick used to play this with your dad when you were a kid. That's really cool. It's actually probably a good father-son game because the dad, most dads kind of get the idea of how to shoot a gun, so you can kind of jump right in and not feel like they're losing all the time. Jeff playing again with... Okay, I already answered that one. Patrick, the Buck Hunter arcade one-up seems cheap. I haven't felt it. The guns do look a little cheap, and they probably are a little cheap, but still, they have Sinden technology, which is amazing to me. Oh, oh excuse me. Hold on. Okay. I'm not dancing, John. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. Victory dance. Yeah, everyone wants a victory dance. I don't have a good... I'm not a dancer, that's for sure. The closest thing I ever get to dancing was when I used to play Pump It Up, the arcade game. And I'm, I'm not that fast anymore. I could probably still play Turkey March and a couple other songs, but that would be it. Or dance to it then. Any requests from this one, guys? I'll play... I can play almost any of these. Unfortunately, Virtual Cop and House of the Dead aren't going to work because of the streaming setup currently, but if you got any requests, let me know. What are we at? Hour 25? So yeah, I've probably got another 30 minutes or so. I can switch cabinets. I can play more of this. Whatever you guys want to do. Patrick Bobazar. You wonder if he's telling the truth. Um, I'm not a big... UFO guy, but I was blown away by his story. I heard him on the Joe Rogan show, and then I watched the Netflix documentary, and then I even got his audio book and listened to it, and I truly think he's telling the truth. That's that's the weird thing. I mean, I don't see any reason why he would lie. If he's on his deathbed and he says he's lying at the end, I'm going to be like, you son of a bee, because I believe him. I really believe him, and it, it really baffles me to think that it, the stuff that he may have said is true. I mean, it's crazy. Thank you, Diego. Nice collections. All right, Rock and Roller says Carn Evil. Oh, Riley says Point Blank 2. I'll do a little Point Blank 2, just a little. Let's not get crazy, because I don't think people enjoy watching me play that one. John Doe says Third Strike. John, I thought you were here earlier, and I almost played it, but... Um, I'll play a little of this, though, just maybe a couple. <clears throat> Tell you what, we'll do the initial four, and then we'll see if you guys want to play something else. Ugh, this one's hard with the aim track gun. Shoot the target, you get three bullets, gotta hit it once. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, I thought I got him. Now I got him, okay. Oh, look at that. That's not a good idea. I'm not that familiar with this one. Oh, 34 targets or more. Oh, okay, I don't have to go crazy. I thought I was going to have to go machine gun style. I don't know if I got that. Oh, okay. Patrick, I don't have Buck Hunter. I tried installing Buck Hunter, and every time I got it running, it actually messed up my main version. It kept turning off my light guns in MAME, and I don't know why. Oh, this is just full-on machine gun move. Here we go. Tearing up Tokyo. Come on. I really don't even know what's left. But I don't even know. Yeah, okay, that was fun. Two for Carnival. I'll play a little Carnival after this. I'll do this last one, which I don't even like. The sheep. You yeah, got the sheer. Sheer sheeps. <laughs> which is hard to say. Thank God it wasn't six. Sheer six. Sheer six sheeps. You're in the way of my other guy right there. I gotta start with these. Oh, I got plenty. Looked like your neighborhood. Keon, where are you at? Oh yeah, you said... Wait, are you the one in Puerto Rico? I'm sorry, I can't remember. 
Let's do some carnival. I got a new button, new button colors, but I don't know. The wife didn't like them, so it made me self-conscious. Now I don't know if I'm going to really point them out on the stream. But we'll see. Oh, let's see. Oh, New York. Wow. Carnival takes forever to boot up. I think I timed it from pressing start. It's like 26 seconds before it's playable. Ah, uh, Johnny Nero Action Hero. Only works on real hardware that requires a CRT. Man, you're asking a lot there. I don't think I can pull that one off. Any requests on which of the three? I can hang out. I don't know which one you want to start with. We'll see. Oh, wait. I think I have an idea. Uh, where is it? Which one am I thinking of? I can't remember if it's Freak Show or not. With the big bunny or the big baby. I'm going with Freak Show because I think that's it. I turned the baby off, so I think I'll be seeing the, the teddy bear now. Thank you, Tony. Tony M. I really like this mod. I mean, I, it makes me think of all the other possibilities I could do with this cabinet or a cabinet like this. I still want to add a trackball. I was thinking about that today, but if anybody knows of a good trackball that works with USB and on MAME and all that, please email me, drop me a comment with the link to it, cause, or the name at least, because I, I don't even know where to start with trackballs. I can't believe I missed that. Oh, see, every time the camera moves, it makes you shoot that lady. I'm so bothered by these, the uh, stuttering, but it's minor. Obviously not minor enough, or I wouldn't be complaining about it, I guess. Get out of here, spider monkey. That almost always gets me. Pretty much memorized these levels. So I had to play them so many times while testing different hardware configurations and software settings and trying to squash this uh, stutter I've got. This is a stutter. How's the volume, guys? Can you hear me okay? I just realized I can see the lines and they're pretty low. Oh, I missed this. Ah. Oh, come on. Oh, there you go. I like how this maggot fly thing has kind of a human face and he's wearing a hat. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Come on. I played some of the real Carnival yesterday, which was fun. And it's really nice to, when I go play some of these games in the arcade now, I realize, why am I paying to play these when I kind of have them at home? And, I've replicated them pretty nicely, I think. The only ones I can't replicate are the racing cabinets. I'll try to figure that out one of these days. I mean, I could play it. I really enjoy playing the Star Wars racing cabinet, but I uh, you can't replicate the sit-down feel and all that at home very easily. Riley, if this is the stage, I did turn the baby off. I was actually kind of mad because I think it deleted all my previous high scores. When I did that, I was like, oh, you could have warned me. I don't know if I would have done that. I know this isn't your favorite game, Riley. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Oh, he got me. Hold on. I really hope this is the level, because I want to see the teddy bear. Three points, guy. He just shoot him a ton, you get a, a bunch of free points. Ah, I can't ever get these guys. I hate that guy, he makes me waste my flamethrower. I 
reading an article about this game and how weird it was at the time. I, I, I know it's a weird game, but I never really thought about it. Oh, this is definitely the baby level, by the way. That's his little plate man over there I'm about to go to. I'm not wasting my machine gun on those guys. Oh, I'm wasting it pointing it down, though. Oh, the stutter. Here we go. Let's see what we get. Don't wake the baby. Deddy. So it's now the teddy bear. I hope you're happy, Riley. It's not as creepy. I wonder if he still throws up on you, though. I also turned the difficulty down on the bosses so I don't have to pump, like, four million shots into them. I'm pretty sure he's going to throw up on me, though, because... It just looks like it was a texture swap or whatever. Let me go in my playhouse here with Mr. Bill. Oh, I never can get that hard. Here it comes. He's pooping out of his mouth. Funny thing was, yesterday when I was at the arcade, luckily there was like nobody there. That's why I went, so I could avoid a crowd. But uh, a mom was playing this with her kid that was so short. He was so young and so short, he wasn't even able to really see the gameplay that well. He, you know, if he was shooting, he would have been underneath the screen. So, seems like a game you don't really want to show your kids because they're going to have some weird nightmares from this thing. And he burned into a pile of ash. Alright. <clears throat> Bozo Calvin Jr. is here. Carnival loved this game in the arcade. Spent some quarters on this and NARC made from Midway. Yep. Uh, any other requests, by the way? I, I can keep playing this. I can play something else, whatever you guys want. Uh, let's see. Please finish Carnival. Um, I don't know if I have enough time for that, but I will do a video where I play all the way through it. Let's see. Looks fun, but the bait... Okay, I saw that. Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Keep playing. I guess I'll just keep playing. Nobody's got any requests currently. I need to keep that with me. Let's do Rickety Town. I don't know what those things are supposed to be, but I read today that someone called those poodles, and I don't know if that's a poodle in an outfit. I'll let the next one beat me up so we can see it for a second. I think it's supposed to be like a creepy elf. I really don't know what that is. But I heard there's poodles in the game, and I don't recall seeing any poodles anywhere. I think this was one of the only games... Well, not the only, but this was one of those games that never came to consoles. Sometimes they take cheap shots at you like that, where you can't really defend yourself. Where are they at? I hear them. There we go. I, it will be really fun to do the pump action shotgun thing with the Sindens. It'd be perfect for this game, too. I kind of kind of have no choice but to upgrade to the Sindens. Onion ride. Ah. Bozo says it reminds me of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This game actually released on Halloween, which was perfect, which I didn't really know, but it makes sense. <clears throat> it's also my birthday, so. No wonder I have one of these in the house. I don't really get who those guys are. Are they like milkmen? Or doesn't really make any sense. And then the deranged Barney the Dinosaur guy. Oh! Doesn't take much to get him, so I like to save this. I 
I'm really stretching this out. Get to keep it for a while. <clears throat> I don't like these little guys. I think they can be turned off in the menu, and I wonder what it replaces them with. Or the food court can be turned off. I don't know what that does. Like, does it just cut it out of the game? Maybe because they look like kids? I don't know why they would cut them out. But offensive food court can be turned off in the menu. Let's get that burrito out of here. Looks like that guy was playing with something. The Garget. This is where I always get tons of life taken from me. I, I gotta let them, or not let them hit me, I think is the thing. Shoot them before they hit me, but they still get me. Let's see what's going on real quick. Milkman, okay. Oh, Poodles appear at the final stage. Thank you, Miles. So I have played all the way through and I don't remember that. Now I'm thinking if, I don't know, maybe if I can get through it quickly, maybe I'll just play the whole game. And I'll still make a video on it, so when you see that, pretend like you're surprised if you caught, caught this live. But I think people do want to see this played all the way through. I figure the reason I do those long playthroughs is somebody who's never probably found the channel, and or maybe not, a, you know, it's just looking on Google or YouTube, like, man, I really want to see this game I used to love, and now they can see it played all the way through, with me talking way too much over it, and hopefully it'll bring them into the channel. That's kind of like, I, some of the videos I do release are more like uh, almost subscriber bait for down the line, so I apologize if you guys get tired of some of that stuff. Oh, okay, Krampus. Machine gun time is what I hear. I'm really glad I lowered the boss difficulty because it got a little crazy. Even this is still taking a long time. I don't know if I turned the screen flash off, but the arcade that I played... At Tornado Terry's yesterday had the flash, and man, it's almost too much, especially when I was doing the machine gun move. Okay. Miles knows some stuff about some carnival here. Let's see, Miles says... Okay, first of all, let me see Brady, this cabinet... Uh, this cabinet that came with this game modified... Oh, it's the... Uh, it's the final fight. Yeah, so it was the final fight cabinet. I'm going to pause really quick so I can finish seeing this. P-Dubs, a killer stream by Killer Arcade Games. Thank you, P-Dubs. I actually mentioned your uh, idea about the Nintendo uh, Mike Tyson thing, the Killer Instinct, earlier in the stream. So we'll see what happens. I thought that was actually really good. I didn't even think of that myself. Even though I knew that Mike Tyson, TJ Combo, kind of the same thing in Nintendo of America. So we'll see. Brady wants me to play Maximum Force. Guys, I will gladly play, finish playing through Carnival if you want, or I can switch to Maximum Force. Just let me know. What's it like? I'll get to that in a second, Riley. What's it like in Texas in a snowstorm, which is extremely rare, and it's hardly a storm? Here we go. I'm going to play for just for now. If you guys want me to switch, just tell me in the chat, and I'll check it in a second. I love popping the little heads off these guys if I can hit them just right. There it is. This seems to be the level that struggles the most. It has the most stutters for some reason. Maybe it's the boob physics on the boss flopping around. You know, those boob physics, they take a lot of energy to, uh, uh, what do you call? Render, there you go. Okay, so Riley, you asked what's it like in Texas during a snowstorm. 
First of all, the last real snowstorm we probably had was August, or not August, sometime in 1985, when I was about two years old. My parents set me down in it, we got a little over a foot, and I hated it and screamed, and that was it. Uh, the next one that we got was actually a decent amount. I think I got six inches in my house, and that was in probably 2018, I think. I don't remember, but it was enough to where we woke up the next day, and like, the entire area was still blanketed, so we flew our drone around, and we got a lot of footage of it. It looked insane. I mean, it's not something I ever really see here. But when it snows here, people really panic because we don't know what to do with icy roads. And I mean, people freak out here on the roads. I always make the joke, when it does finally rain here, the only way you can activate your windshield wipers in Texas is to hit your brakes first. You have to hit your brakes, then you could flip the windshield wiper lever. It's just good science. That's how it works. And it, it's infuriating because we don't get a lot of rain here, but when it does rain, it happens every time. You can tell when it starts raining on the road. Because all of a sudden there's a wave of brake lights and the traffic slows to a crawl. And then it starts pouring rain on you as you get into it. But when it gets snowy here, I mean, people just really don't know what to do. It's, it's hilarious how we, we get out of school if we get a dusting. I mean, not that I'm in school anymore, but the kids do. And like, we had a few of those times when it was going to be icy and I got stay at home for free days. That was amazing. But then he couldn't go anywhere, so it kind of sucked. There's a King of the Hill episode where it snows, and all you see, like, when they all leave the party they were at is everybody running into everybody because they don't know how to drive in it, and it's so accurate, it's hilarious. I think someone said, keep playing. Ooh, I see a Terminator 2 request. Oh, man, I'll be here all night. John Hambone. Who needs a machine gun, right? God, I need water, though, that's for sure. I'm talking too much. I hate to interrupt dinner, fellas. This guy's over here cooking. I always feel bad shooting this guy in the back while he's making a human stew or whatever. And no matter what, I can't seem to save that lady. She always just dies. Or if she does survive, they don't tell you. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Okay. I'm going to catch up really quick and see if you guys are wanting me to switch. Terminator 2. I do have it, Bozo. Not very good at it. Uh, for some reason, I cannot scroll anymore on the chat. So, <laughs> that's not good. What happened? There we go. All right, I'm going to keep going for now. I don't have aliens, Tony. I've got that set up to install. I just haven't done it yet. Creepy giant spider that you can kill. I swear I've seen a few of those on the job. Quick shot right there. I think we're almost to the boss on this stage, the large boob, large floppy boob witch lady, which is so 90s that they just let her boobs flop everywhere. I just picture a bunch of like teenage Beavis and Butthead kids playing it, like, look at her boob. Come on. I can never shoot that heart that's down there, or this one. Oh, I got it. I literally never got that. Of course, when I say I'm not going to get it, I get it. <clears throat> Here we go. It's Mrs. Boobet. Like, look at that. I'll stop shooting her for a second. Watch when she flops around. They just go everywhere. Of course, she's not going to do it now that I stopped shooting her. Ah. Alright, well, let's see. You'll see him. See? It's so ridiculous. Tripped up on my wires. Machine gun. You do get to do like a fatality on her when she dies, though. 
There we go, fatality time. With the replay and everything. <clears throat> Jeff, you're not into shooter games, but if Arcade 1-Up ever released this, you might get it. I wouldn't hold your breath. This thing is so hard to emulate, power-wise. <laughs> I can never get that hard and then proceed to get hard. Yep, never really happened. So, I think I have to go for this now. It's the final stage. Ooh. Brady, are you saying the Walmart near you has uh oh that's creepy the walmart near you has a hydro thunder i really need to know which walmart this is and how the heck they have a hydro thunder my walmart i mean i went in the other day and they have oh and they actually have uh, a couple arcade games that they're all closed off and shut off right now because they don't want you touching everything oh i, I thought those were just props for a second Nobody likes a mine. Get out of here. Let him take his head off. What's with those necks? Yep, his head came off. Alright, I gotta quit shooting the heads and kill these guys. I think we're gonna fight Count Von Token Taker, or whatever his name is. I think his first name's really Carl. What the heck are those things? I've only beat this one time since I've had it all set up, I think. Oh, almost killed the lady. Quick. Oh, I forgot. Don't shoot off screen. I guess I could set it up like that, but I like to push the button to reload. I wish I had the option to do both, though. Oh, are those the poodles? It's the poodles. I didn't realize those were poodles last time. Oh, machine gun. Rabid poodles. I don't see this lady. Oh. Oh, I'm trying to read the chat. Those clowns look like inflatable clowns. It's very weird looking. Yeah, there he is again. place right here. Oh. <laughs> Maximum Forest Brady says, maybe uh, if I get this one done pretty quick, which it should be over soon, maybe I can do that. What the heck? I don't remember this one. Oh, I thought it was setting up a boss stage. The, the boss. Oh, and we have to—we actually fight the clown guy who floats his head around, talking to you the whole time. His whole name is Ludwig von Token Takeout. Oh God, there he is. I thought I had to continue already. There we go. Umlaut. And he bit me. I'm 
bite just did. That's actually pretty cool. He becomes polygons. Ludwig van Token Taker. I'll call him Ludwig Bullet Taker after I'm done with him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Ah, the heart's right there. Big B, keep getting blocked. I gotta always let your messages through. That guy just threw his head at me. I think we almost got him. Probably gonna move again though before then. I'm dead. Almost. Okay. Yeah, I knew I was gonna die. Should be able to finish him right here, though. Fatality. I'm, I'm being quiet so you can watch the ending, by the way. an idiot. Now I gotta do this all over again. I'm gonna put my name in and then I'll play a little bit of Maximum Force and then I gotta wrap it up. I know somebody wants me to play uh, Donkey Kong or Pac-Man, but I suck at Pac-Man and don't have Donkey Kong, so <laughs> it probably wouldn't be very fun for you. And I saw someone asking about my CES stuff. Okay, let's see. Let's go with the thing I got deleted. I'll do my save. I don't know why I'm being dumb and doing this, but it's just fun. Save me. Cry for help. Oh, and that's it. <laughs> really cool uh, way to show the credit screen really quick. Spoilers for the carnival ending. Sorry. I know you guys were, well, we're about 22 years later. Flawless victory. Okay, I will play just a little bit. Hey, Toddy's here. I can't remember if I said hi. How high tech is the emulation? For this, Jeff, this is struggling a little bit on a Core i5 3. Point, I think it's a 3.2 gigahertz. I've even got a little graphics card in here. Nothing crazy, but it's, it's still struggling. So there's just no way Arcade 1-Ups hardware can do it. Okay, what do I think uh, is coming for... I'm going to go ahead and... I'll answer, I'll let that run, because it's, I don't, I don't remember if anything else shows up, but. So I talked about it earlier in the stream, but they kind of hinted at something that I think might be accurate. There may be a Killer Instinct reveal, we'll see. I still think it's going to be another, well, no, they said no pinball, probably, so. I don't know, I think we may see a new shooter cabinet come out. I'm really not 100% sure what to see, or what we will see. <clears throat> 
So we'll see. I, it's, it, it's best I could say right now. I wish I could tell you guys more. You're missing. <laughs> Thought Carnival. You're not blocked, Big B. It's just when you you had uh, expletives in your stuff, so it automatically holds them for review. You're not blocked. Uh, anyway, this is going on way too long. So I'll do a tad of maximum force, and then uh, I got to go, because it's been two hours already, and my voice is really going out. Okay. I'm going to start. Where am I going to start today? I guess we'll just do mission one. This is one I've never beat. I've gotten close, and I just kind of lose interest. This is also at Tornado Terry's, if you ever want to go play there. I will have borders for this one when I have send-in guns. I just haven't set them up, because they come with the borders pre-attached for the send-in gun, so we'll see. But I like that they've pre-made a lot of them, so I don't have to try to look them up. I don't like the black bars on the sides of the screen. I tried to get, uh, what is it? Not Maximum Force, I'm playing that. What's that other one? Uh, Target Terror. Someone released a Linux running version of it, and I tried to play it, and I can't figure it out. You have to run a virtual machine that runs Linux that then emulates or runs the game. It wasn't working out for me, so I'm not that good, apparently, but I would like to have that game working one of these days. I know you can play it on Wii emulation. I just got to get that going. This game's kind of mellow because not much happens. Like a few guys pop up every now and then. And the camera moves nice and slow usually. You just gotta kill those random ladies that pop up. But not the good ladies that pop up. That's the hard part. I didn't mean to shoot him. I'm trying to shoot up the car. Oh. I think you can take out this chopper, right? There it goes. Barely got that. Oh, I almost killed that dude. Wasn't oh, that lady? Wow. blow those up. Okay. I'm going to probably call it there for now. Uh, let me read the rest of the chat and then I should probably go, but let's see. God, why won't this pop up properly? Okay. Big B, I just don't have Donkey Kong. I'm sorry, I don't have it at all. I was playing the SNES, SNES version the other day, though. Two hours already, why not go a full 24 hours? Well, Miles, that would be fun. I, mean, I thought about trying to do that one day for a stream, like go a ton, but I don't know. My voice goes after like two hours, usually. I'm getting really <clears throat> hard to speak at this point. Press one for trial. I don't know what that is, I'm sorry. Press one for true classic games. Maybe I'll do a, a more classic game stream one of these days. Patrick, you wonder how Die Hard would run? Is that... Oh, okay. The arcade version, I think I tried it once and I couldn't get it to launch, but I'll try again one of these days. John Phillips, checking in from Chicago. Sir, how is the send -in holding up? I don't have a send-in yet. Look at this glitchy stuff. <laughs> I guess this game doesn't work perfectly. I've ordered the Sendin still on the aim track, and it looks like my Sendin order is going to be even more delayed now, so it's going to be a while before I get those in. Wow, I didn't know John, Johnny Hero. I didn't. Johnny Nero was made by 
play mechanics and ice. Ice is... All I think when I hear ice is a uh, ice ball. Death Chicken, nice guitar. I, I guess so. I don't play it much. Sorry. <laughs> Neato Sauce. Pog Champ. I don't know what that is, but cool. Conrag. What's with all the Pog stuff going on? Hentai Life. Roger, how you doing? Unfortunately, Roger, you've come when I'm wrapping it up. Uh-oh, whoever this Tommy C fella is. Who's who's raiding me? What does this mean? <laughs> I don't know what this means. Good thing, bad thing, I don't know. But now, of course, people are showing up when I'm about to wrap it up. But uh, what is Tommy C's arcade raid? I gotta look up Tommy C, apparently. Maybe, he, maybe it's not a good thing. I don't know. Adidas, you're wanting a Virtua Fighter arcade one up or... Oh, it's a good thing. Well, that's good, Conrad. Good to know. I gotta look up Tommy C, apparently. What is, is that another YouTube channel? Somebody let me know. Because I love some arcade YouTube channels. Well, thank you. I, I've got to figure out who Tommy C is, because that's very nice. Now I feel like I need to play more. <laughs> I was seriously about to wrap it up. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I gotta wrap it up. I'm sorry, guys. Thank you, uh, Tommy C, if you guys are popping up for that. Scott E, any full driving arcade one-up mods in the future? You like the Star Wars in a pinch, but a full build running Daytona or F... Wow, okay. Yeah, that that's something I've thought about. I don't know how I would do it. Man, this, this attract mode is just broken. Let me switch back to... Where is it? I'll just go to Carnival for now. Um, the attract mode is just broken on that. It's very, very weird. So, the only thing I can think of to do for a racing cabinet would be... God, I don't even want to say it's similar to this because it just wouldn't really work. Set it on the ground, maybe take out the kick plate or the front panel. Put the... I don't know. I just... I don't have anything good planned. And that's what bothers me because I really want a real racing cabinet. I don't have the room for it, for one. But if I could come up with something, I would. I'm just going to kind of hope that somebody makes a decent sit-down cabinet build where you can make it your own or Arcade 1-Up makes a better sit-down option. Oh, can I play Invasion of the Abductors? Okay. Just a few minutes, because that game's very weird. <laughs> I don't love that game, but I'll put it on. <clears throat> Death Chicken. He likes arcade one-ups, too. That's that's good to know. I'll have to go check him out. Space Invaders? I don't have that one. Sorry. Alright, I'm going to play just a minute or two of this, and then I'll... Uh, then I gotta call it. <clears throat> this is a game I've played all of maybe 15 minutes of in my life, but I put it on here just for fun. choice. Let's go easy for now because I don't know much about this game. The graphics are really odd on this game. I just, uh, my main thing I know about it is it runs on the MK4 board. Okay, that's looking a little better than I remember. Why am I not reloading, though? Uh-oh. Have I not set this game up properly? Well, then, I may not be playing this one. What the heck? Let me check real quick. Maybe it's something in here. Oh. This isn't going well. It's not going well. <laughs> that's not it. What am I doing? Nope, not in there. I could have sworn it was like reload off screen. Is that an option? Maybe not. Maybe it's in the dip switches. No. All right. I'll, I don't know what's happening there. So I need some time to fix that one. So I'm just not going to play that one right now. That didn't work out at all. This was Play Mechanic's first game before... Big Buck Hunter, Johnny Nero, Action Hero, and Aliens. Alright, I'm going to wrap it up anyway, guys. Uh, 
Thank you, Riley, for having fun. It's always fun. Uh, let's see. Anybody else got anything before I go? All right. Well, you're on the wrong channel if you want to see Paperboy. Sorry. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new, please consider subscribing. It's been a good two hours. I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it up now. Hopefully, uh, you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And maybe I'll stream tomorrow. Maybe I'll stream on the Star Wars Arcade 1-Up cabinet and we could do some racing games. Because I never get to stream from that one since it's downstairs. But it'll have to be probably before noon or sometime in the afternoon. So we'll see. Hope you guys have a good Saturday night. Thanks for watching.